hey welcome back guys in this video we are going to take a look at creating this really awesome glitch transition inside Ed Film Express um, so we'll be basically uh, using the combination of fractal noise and displacement map to create this uh, transition so uh, let's um, jump right into it so it's good uh, so I'm just going to create a new composite shot and we'll call this main comp and duration is going to be four seconds and click on OK. Now uh, I have my images right here, so I just import it onto my timeline. And obviously, you can use your um, you can use video as well if you want to. But for this tutorial, just use this image. All right. So um, the next thing is to we'll create a new layer. I'll create a new plane layer. I'll just call this um, we'll call we'll call this fractal noise and the color is going to be black and click on OK then just right click on it and click on make composite shot and then you just click on this option that says move with layer and then click on OK now I just have to apply search for fractal noise and apply it on this layer and um, this is what you'll get now you have to change some numbers of this fractal noise effect um, so what i basically did was i just created this preset fractal noise preset and just apply it on this layer and uh, once you do that you'll get this kind of texture so um, let's just open it up and see what uh, what we have to change so the preset uh, the type is going to be wood and interpolation is going to be linear transform and then uh, scale is at 66 per 66 pixels um, so we have to transform the position uh, I don't have to change that axis scale is 4% and this number right here you can just copy that sub settings and in sub settings we have sub levels set that to 20 it's the maximum value there influence is going to be 70% and the scale is set to 56 and that's that should be pretty much it first color is black and the second is white edges uh, that is going to be the default colors so uh, after you do that then um, just have to go back to your main comp and just hide the fractal noise layer we'll create a new grade layer and uh, i'll call this oops i'll call this displacement and in the effects uh, we will search for displacement and apply it on this layer then what you can do is um, we'll make a transition so I'll just move my playhead at two second in time and uh, I'll just just trim this layer or this clip and on the second one the second scene and uh, just start from that point so like that and what we'll do is let's just uh, display this as frames and then what we can do is we can keyframe the uh, vertical displacement so let's just uh, keyframe the displacement so open up the effects and displacement and we'll change the source layer and we'll set that to the fractal noise composite shot uh, now uh, it's up to you whether you want the horizontal displacement or the vertical I'll just use the vertical displacement so so my horizontal displacement should be zero and now we can just play around with the vertical displacement so just just increase that to around 150 and then get this really cool displacement you can see that really cool glitch kind of effect and then we'll just create a keyframe at that point and uh, you know what let's just uh, move this keyframe to the 59th frame and let's just move backwards uh 20 frames so we should be at 39th frame and we can set this to zero so we have this kind of um, transition going on and then on the next frame uh, at the 60th frame we'll just create another keyframe and let's move 20 frames forward and we'll set this to zero so we have something like this okay then we're going to select all these keyframes and convert it to manual bezier i can go into value graph and we can just bring this 
we basically want to start this start this glitch real slow and want it to end real fast so we can just drag this handle all the way to the right and by the way you can hold the shift key on the keyboard and you can just drag these handles uh, really nice update was uh, available only in the pro version now it's uh, available in the free express version as well so it's really nice again we'll use use this handle and just drag it down like that and uh, this one will go to the left so just create a peak like this and we have this kind of displacement and you are pretty much done so now you can get more creative with this you can go ahead in the displacement to fractalize you can change around play with the values right here and create a different kind of texture but uh, what i'm going to do is i'm just going to keyframe the position of this layer so let's just move there and create a position keyframe and just move back 20 frames and change the position just bring it up like that Convert it to manual bezier and something like this. Then uh, the second layer we can or maybe let's just go back, select these two keyframes, go to value graph, and again we'll just um, just start it real fast. I think let's just do that and it should be. Uh, no, it should end real fast. So I'll just create a curve like this. Okay, so something like that. And then we can go into our second clip or the second image and create a position keyframe. 20 frames forward and we can just change the position of this layer and bring it down something like that. Again, select these two keyframes, convert it to a manual bezier on value graph. Okay, we want it to start real fast, so just we'll just um, bring this handle down like that, and this one should go to the left. And that's pretty much it. That's how we can create this really nice uh, a distortion glitch transition whatever you want to call it that's how we can create that in hit film express um, i hope this video was helpful i hope um, uh, you learned something new if it did please do consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel and um, thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one